All right, so the biggest problem we have with most people is that they don't have enough range through the front of their shoulder. They're internally rotated and they've got anterior tightness and posterior weakness. What we wanna have is length through the front and we wanna have strength through the back. So we wanna be able to get to the stage where we can actually get nice and deep in a deep push up. So we're trying to get our chin and our nose to the floor with that full range and our full body weight being able to get there. However, we're not gonna start there. We're gonna start with some rings or something a little bit easier like Couch is gonna show us, so he's gonna walk forward as far as he can. Essentially, there's no body weight in this position because of how vertical he is. So the more horizontal you become, the more force there is gonna be through your shoulders, your biceps and your pec, where they cross the shoulder joint. So that's quite easy. There's not much force getting produced, but we're still getting the range. So come forward. Holding there, he's got his thumb in his armpit, so that's the range that we wanna get. We wanna have our elbows pointed back. So to make that harder, he's just gonna walk his feet back. And the further he comes down, the flatter he becomes, the more intensity there's gonna be across the front of this shoulder joint. So we're still getting a massive stretch. You can see that his shoulders are lower than his triceps or lower than his elbows. And now there's a lot more force being produced. If we stand back up, come into a dip position. So when we go into the bottom of a dip, eventually if we can take our full body weight through our pecs, we've got bulletproof shoulders. His elbows are higher than his shoulders, showing that he's got full range of motion. His thumbs are in his armpits. And now we have some strong bulletproof shoulders across the pec and across the bicep joint.